Oh my god. Are you serious? Uh, I have... What is going on? Great. What's going on Fantasians? You're watching Brutal Arc Mobile. I'm Asian Romeo and welcome to day two of Blitz Week. We are going to run and get the important chest only. If you want to see the full video of the run, I will post the December link in the description. Other than that, let's just roll on in. So the dungeon we have is Ugh, just randomly closed on me. Not a good sign to start with. Come on, come on. There we go. We have the offering chambers, it is easy. Our tech loop pool today is tech chest piece, Moser tech saddle, black chest piece, and a tech rifle. Now, we don't need any loot in this run, in this dungeon this, this week. Um, I'm pretty sure we got it all, unless it's a gauntlet that comes up then yeah we definitely need that but we're just going to run for the element get the important chest and go from there we'll grab this one because i thought that was a north passage but it's not the very first premium that we want is this one here a torch sparkler i've got so many of those it's just ridiculous all right so the next chest that we are going to run after is in this uh, in this curvature of the map. There are no traps coming this way, but there is one water room, guys. So feel free and run uh, freely. Nothing to kill you. But up this section is your tech structure. I don't need it, but for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and get it. Tech hatch frame, don't know when someone would actually use a hatch frame um, in tech anyway, but I don't see a use for it. So now I'm just going to fill up this canteen because I did accidentally drink it for some reason. Oh dear, I, ho I hope you guys are having a good day. My morning has been not too bad today. It is actually quite cold outside, so... After a long, long heat wave, the cool is quite nice. Ugh. Come on. Oh, what's going on? Can't even go that way. Can't go the other way. So, from here, guys, we're going to go to our second premium, which is guarded by this axical trap. You have to come this way if you want the key, guys. And there's two premiums. And there is also one potential... Uh, tech saddle chest I know in the last dungeon you had a very very low chance of getting a, some some pre-made tech saddles and another brick paver for our second premium I don't like brick pavers I really don't too many of them not when you can buy the actual paver in room and then having it into the loot pool is not really a good idea All right, so after this corner, we're going to go straight for our facility key. The second right is where we want to go. Now that we do have our facility key, we're going to head to our first event room, which is a room full of dodos. And there's one premium after the dodo room that we do want to get. Um, just in case it's something good. But uh, also after the dodo room is the optional, not the optional, the loot that potentially can hold a pre-made tech saddle. Hopefully we do pull one day, but if not, I hope you guys do pull one. Yeah. 
there's just too many dodos in this room guys um, don't waste your time if you're going to sh shoot them with a range or a shotgun just use your sword because as you can see you do take them down very quickly and they actually won't do too much damage on you but just keep an eye out on your HP because the longer you stay in here the cold temperatures will uh, will affect you quite badly round one complete easy and simple did I just say simple? easy and simple oh well it's the way I speak sometimes you either love it or you don't come on surround me slash away slash slash I, oh gosh I didn't even bring any meat into this dungeon um, we're just going to quickly dump some meat before this round starts. No, it's already starting. Come on. And after this, this wave, I am going to have to eat some raw meat because I did forget the food. Unfortunate. Ah, oh, come on. When you're in a dodo room guys, it's a good idea to go into third person because then you can see what you're slashing and it makes it quite easy for the kill. Whereas in first person you can't see what's behind you, so it's always a good idea. Third person in battle room sometimes. We'll uh, put that on the hotbar, then we'll eat a whole bunch until we're full. Not that we may need to eat again, so it's there just in case. Um, get that in the chitin too. And I think that's it. Alright. Now, we are going to head straight for that, that low chance tech, uh, tech saddle loot that I've been talking about. Just off to the right here. Come on. Bah! Okay, charcoal. Great. Now you guys are going to think I'm lying, but trust me, I'm not lying. You can get uh, tech saddle there, guys. I will list it. Well, I do have it listed on the map from the previous December run. So, ah, uh, another gravel paver. Not even worth it. The only reason I come down this side of the dodo room is for that that loot crate, guys. Not the premium here because I really haven't got anything good from this this side of the premiums I mean yeah anyways let's head back now we're gonna go and run quickly back past spawn and then head straight to um, what are we, where, 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 where are we going Romeo we're going straight to the featured loot so anyways bear with me I will probably I'm gonna yeah, let's let's fast forward the scene. To get to the featured now guys, we do have to pass one axical trap and one wall trap, so just be wary. Um, not so much of this axical trap, but the wall trap that comes after it. It's just coming up now around the corner in the uh, straight hallway here. Sometimes you run past here and you won't see it, so just be careful. And that's our cue. And then followed by that is a jump trap. Last dungeon, um, the back, uh, the back floating platform was really iffy. You could run and bump into it, so it's probably best if you are like, oh, <laughs> if you jump to the center and then from the center to the other side, it's safer than uh, doing the jump in one go. 
But hey, by the way, last time um, I had what the angel wings on, you can. Let me just see what's in here first. And I'll, apprentice chest piece. Nah, not good. Um, what was I going to say? With the wings on here, you can use the, the symbiote at the same time. And look how cool that looks. Now I can fly. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Having the dragonfly on top of the uh, angel skin looks absolutely gorgeous. Really cool. I thought it was cool. Alright, but anyways. As cool as it may look, I am just going to quickly quickly get rid of it. And put uh, something else on that's visible for me to use during battle. Because it does get in the way when you're fighting those, those uh, angel wings. Come on. Sneaking up slowly. I know you're there. You can run after this double bounce. Alright. Now from here guys. We are going to head straight down to get the other three premiums on this side of the spawn room. So. Sometimes it's good. I've gotten a fair few colours from this side of the premiums. Hold on. Shouldn't they have a unicorn in here somewhere? Because last time there definitely were unicorns in spawn. Maybe they're just not in here for this run. I'll have to come back in and check because if so, I actually might contemplate on getting a female unicorn. And a gravel paver for our fourth premium. I am not happy about that. Too many pavers, Ark. Too many pavers. Um, hopefully this next premium, this one here. Come on, give me collar. It's a bow tie. Not the best collar, but better than pavers. So I will take that. Thank you. And we're coming up to the last junction now where the fifth... Is it fifth or sixth premium? should be just this one here uh, god not even gonna say anything waste of time this run for me nope not that way now we're heading to the facility door which is this corridor here not the other one um yeah not happy about those pavers guys Oh, back there. Yeah, I am a little upset to be honest. But um, anyways, all good. You get what you get. And here we are. The facility door that we've been looking for. We are now heading into our Rhino room. This room's quite a bit small. So it's probably best if you can try to run. Um... You won't have much running room, but stick with a shotgun and um, everything should... Oh, there I go through the walls and... Oh my god. Are you serious? Uh, I have... What is going on? Great. So I am stuck on this roof and I can see the teleporter over there. This is... Wow, how am I going to get down? I'm going to have to die, I bet you. Oh, what a waste of time. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I am totally stuck. I can't get out. Oh, hold on. That was weird. Okay. That's, that was weird. I'm lucky. I'm back in. Back into the fight. That has never happened to me before. That is just freaky insane. Oh. Oh gosh, okay. Die, please. That was actually so weird. Glitched out of the walls and ended up on the roof of the dungeon. I honestly thought that I would have to kill myself off somehow and start again. If 
but the way this battle is going, I'm probably going to die because these rhinos are hitting me quite hard. But uh, fingers crossed, all is good. They do hit hard, guys. So keep an eye out and um, stick with that shotgun and don't get stuck in a corner, whatever you do. Just do take a couple of shots, kill off one and then run to the other side. I don't practice what I preach because now I'm stuck. Oh, thought I was stuck in the corner for a second. Oh my gosh, what's going on? The bodies really start to pile up really quick and when they decompose, sometimes they're still there and it doesn't fully render out of the game. So you could get stuck on a whole lot of nothing. But as you see, I'm running from corner to corner, guys. That is the best way to uh, finish the room. Take your time, take it easy, take it slow, and you will eventually kill them off. Because this is actually one of the harder rhino rooms that I've actually done. What the... My Buddha. You guys saw that, right? Oh, come on. Get out of the corner. Thank you. So you guys know, you guys aren't alone um, in the in the robber banding sector. It happens to me quite a lot. And it's good to... I mean, it's good to film the rubber banding and the glitches that happen. So then you guys can see. And to know that you guys aren't alone in it. It happens to me too. It happens to a lot of us. But we have, anyways, last premium to run towards, and hopefully, hopefully it's something good. Herb pheromone. Okay, better than those brick pavers that I love so much, guys. Uh, I will take that gladly into my bag. Now, from here on guys, we are going to head straight to the boss. We have one axical trap, followed by a water room, and on the right will be our boss teleport. Other than that, there's really nothing else that you need in this dungeon, guys, because it's all junk. Um, don't waste your time getting it, as I said. The premiums, there's seven in this dungeon turtle, and depending on your run, you could get something really good or something really bad like you've seen throughout my run today a lot of brick pavers for me and I'm not not very happy about that but we have the dodicorous boss guys we are gonna head straight on in ah no Noctis no Noctis I'll get to him one day while we're in this boss fight guys I just want to take a moment to uh, let you guys know that I am setting up a Patreon page. Um, I think it will help a bit in the production of this content and I do plan to open up a new server and all that. Um, it's totally up to you guys if you want to join my Patreon website. But if you guys do, your name will be featured in, the, in any videos that come up. I will give you a shout out and I will also create a Patreon credit page. Um, I'm really excited. I would love to see how it takes off. It's probably too early in my content creating days to have a Patreon website. But, uh, oh, it's so decorous, come on. But, I mean, it's never too late also. So, Stick around for that guys, I will create a video on the Patreon introduction and the launch of my new server. I still don't know what uh, mode I should have my server on, um, as in it's going to be PVX, PVE, PVP. I think I'll do my best to leave that to the community, but it will be an open, it will be open to the general public just for the community. Um, and the Brutal Arc Mobile fan base. Ouch. So, anyway, guys, 
Oh, this Dodicus is really giving giving me a beating. Stay behind the Dodic. Um, you don't want to go any further in front of him. He will do damage on your armor, but I don't really care. I've got heaps of sets with me, so I can uh, afford to get smashed. Come on. Couple of arrows. Bill. One more hit. Missed. No, I got him. Nice. That is it guys, thank you so much, I'm just going to take a quick screenshot maybe for a thumbnail for this video. It's freezing, takes so long, there we go. Alrighties Fantasians, thank you so much if you tuned in for this boss fight and heard me ramble on for a little bit. Good luck for today's element farming, I will see you guys tomorrow for day 3. Until then, happy farming and I'll see you next time. Peace.